In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the number one way to make book covers yourself for your Amazon KDP books. Hello, my name is Ben McQueenie, and if you haven't been to this channel before, I make videos on how you can make a great passive income, making and selling books for Amazon KDP. And if that sounds like something you like the sound of, then please subscribe to my channel, leave it a like, and hit that notification bell. Recently, making your own covers for Amazon KDP has been made harder due to the headaches around copyright issues and licensing grey areas. Something which I have highlighted in previous videos, but we won't go into that right now. But like an angel guiding me out of the darkness, I now have a new design tool which can not only make my book cover, but can also make my interior, my A plus content, my social media posts, and my email marketing, and my branding, and my logos, and it goes on and on. So allow me to introduce to you Kittle. Kittle is an extremely powerful all-in-one design tool which will serve all our regular design requirements that us self-publishers have on a day-to-day -day basis. In a moment, I'm going to show you how easy Kittle is to use by making an Amazon KDP book cover. So make sure you stick around to see that. But first, let me give you four advantages that Kittle has over other design tools. Number one, easy to use. You may find this hard to believe, but I am not a designer by any stretch of the word. But using Kittle for my Amazon KDP requirements has been like a breath of fresh air. This design tool is for anyone. Number two, it saves time. As all your designing is in one place and all your creative assets can be used in your designs, you don't have to spend forever and a day looking for creative assets online and downloading and uploading and downloading and uploading and downloading and uploading and you get the point. Number three, it's a web-based tool. So no need to download, no need to mess about as it's all web-based. So that means that all machines that can access the internet can unlock the power of Kittle. Number four, simple licensing terms. Unlike some other tools, Kittle makes their tools easy by simple licensing terms that everyone can understand that are transparent. Yes, you can use Kittle for making your Amazon KDP book covers, including using the assets programmed into Kittle. So that also means that you can use Kittle for your interiors and any of the marketing around any of your KDP books. Now, Kittle themselves have confirmed to me that Kittle can be used to make Amazon KDP book covers and books. So this is a major advantage for Kittle, let me tell you. So now let me show you how you can use Kittle to create a stunning book cover for Amazon KDP. Right, so I am on Amazon.com and with a quick search on Self-Publishing Titans Pro, I can see that an ADHD notebook has an estimated 31,599 um, search volumes per month and, you know, quite a low amount of competition. So an ADHD notebook is a good potential book for us to have a look at, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to run that search and we're going to see what it comes up with. Now, when you are making a book cover, you want to have a look at your keywords, search your keywords, and have a look at what the competition are doing. We don't want to reinvent the wheel here, okay? So if they are using things which are working, okay, certain colors, certain backgrounds, then we want to do something similar. We don't want to stand out too much because it'll put people off. We want to make a high quality book cover, okay? But we also want it to fit in so that people People who are expecting that sort of book will be like, yes, that book is what I'm after. So we are pulling this down here and I can see quite a lot of kind of plain book covers. There's sort of like a court one there, but we want one that's got a bit of design on it so we can showcase how awesome Kittle is. Now this one here has got kind of some colors with some nice typeface. Uh, we've got one here that's kind of like a floral one, okay, with a dark background. And we've got another one here, which again is floral with a dark background. This is an ADHD planner for women. And if we go down again, we can see, oh, look, we've got another ADHD one there, which has got kind of floral and another floral one there. OK, so let's just use this as an example. And this is the sort of cover which we are going to be looking to make today. So let's just click on this and take a quick look. OK, so this is an ADHD planner for women. So we're going to make an ADHD notebook. We're going to make a 
cover which is inspired by this one okay it's going to be 120 pages and it's going to be 8.5 by 11 okay so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to the kdp cover calculator okay so we are at the kdp cover calculator and what we need to do is we need to make a template which we can then put into Kittle that we can then design on. So what we need to do is we need to uh, put in some details. So we're doing a paperback. It's going to be just black and white interior. It's going to be on white paper. And it's going to be reading from left to right. The measurement units are going to be inches. And it was 8.5 by 11. And we can remember that it was 120 pages. Now, all we'd have to do now is just calculate dimensions and we will download the template. So we'll press that and that will download the template for us. So I will just open that template and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the template looks like. And as you can see here, we have kind of what looks like the basic kind of book cover, okay? Now, when we're designing, we want to make sure that we stay away from the red zones because the red zones are where it's going to get potentially cut. So any design elements could be potentially cut off. We've also got this area here, which is where we have the barcode. So the thing that we need to be most interested in is this, the overall dimensions. And as we can see here, it's 17.52 by 11.25 overall dimensions. So when we go over to Kittle, we are going to create a design which is that size. So I am on Kittle right now. And what we need to do is we need to go to new project. So we're going to press the new project button and this box will pop up to give us the orientations of the particular design that we are making. Now, what we're going to do is we want it to be kind of like a book, so it needs to be landscape. So we'll click on that. We need the units to be um, inches, okay? And we need to now pin in the dimensions from that cover calculator, okay? The template that we've just downloaded. So that was 17.52 by 11.25. Now, when you are uploading a cover to Amazon KDP, you want to make sure that your cover file is at least 300 DPI, which is dots per inch. So next, we just need to press this create button. And there is our artboard, okay, which is where we're going to be creating our design. Now, what we need to do is we need to place our cover template, which we've just downloaded, onto our artboard. So if we go to the upload section, I have done this previously. So if I just click on this, it's kind of plonked it down onto our artboard. Now what we can do is we can pull this into the corners. So let's just pull this to here and I can hold that element and it will just snap into place like that. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull this down now into this other corner. Like so, until it snaps. So there we are, we now have our basic KDP cover template on our artboard in Kittle. The next thing that we need to do is we need to put a background on this particular design. Now, as we have just seen, the ADHD planner kind of has a black background, doesn't it? So what we need to do is if we go to the elements button here, we can click on there and we can just look for a basic shape. So let's just press this square that will plonk a square on the top. And if we pull this just beyond the edge of the artboard for now, like so, and we'll pull this across here. We have now covered that entire um, template, but now we can't see where the red zones are, can we? But what we can do is if we just go up to here, we can change the opacity. Now, if we change that to say 10%, we should now be able to still see the uh, template, but we can't really see the background. So we can maybe increase that a little bit further. Let's just increase that to 20% and see what happens there. See, now we can see that it is still actually there, okay? So next we need a title, don't we, okay? Because obviously we've got a book cover and we need the title on there. And the title for us was ADHD Notebook. So what we'll do is we'll go down to this text box and we'll press that there and look at all these different options which you could potentially have, right? So we could potentially have 
um, this one. So we could click this on here. This is going to pop, pop up and we could have this as, let's just put, let's just see what this looks like. A D H D. Let's just make that a bit bigger. And let's just make that so it fits. Let's bring that central. Let's kind of have that a bit like this. And then what we can do is if we just grab that, group them together, we can just make that smaller. So we can kind of put that there and that would be kind of like, if you liked that, okay, if you liked that particular thing. I'm just giving you an example of the things that you can do. There's loads of different stuff that you can do here. Let's just get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a headline and I'm going to type in here ADHD. Okay, so that's going to be our first word. And I'm going to pull that into the top third kind of central. Okay, so we're kind of doing this by eye at the moment. But what we can do is if we just select this, we can kind of change the text to what we like. Okay, so we could use this kind of signature typeface and that would kind of look like that. As it's on a black background, what do we need to do? We need to make sure that that is white, don't we? Yeah, so let's just make sure that that is white. Pull that up to the top. Make sure that's white. Very good. Now what we can do is if we just bring this back to 100%, that will give us an idea of what that looks like. Now we can zoom in a little bit. And that kind of looks pretty cool, doesn't it? That does actually look pretty cool. <laughs> Surprising myself. Right, so what we're going to do is let's just move this back down to, um, let's go 30% just so that we know it's still there. Very good, right? So I'm happy with that ADHD. So if I just take this and delete that uh, notebook and if I take this I can find a kind of very simple font that I would like to have not this one. Oh yes please that is the exact one that I like the look of so let's just pop that about there maybe let's put it there now what we can do which I think is cool as well is you can kind of distort or you can change the angle of how these kind of words are so let's just try this so you can see you can kind of like change it and you can pull the different angles and stuff like that to make it kind of fit a little bit better so if I kind of bring that in there, that kind of goes there and so on and so forth. You know, it's entirely up to you. Angle. See, the angles are pretty good, isn't it? That's perfect. That will that will do me. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to check to see how this looks. I am going to uh, make that 100% and just see how it looks so far. Okay, so that looks okay. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to stick some floral patterns on here. So I'm just changing the opacity again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Elements and I'm going to search Flowers. And let's just see what it comes up with. Whoa, look at this. Look at all these flowers. Now, I like them. They look nice. I'm just speeding the video up while I add some additional flower elements, which are just going to be placed around the typeface just as so. Now let's see how that looks. So if I just uh, make this back to 100%. Oh yes. Now that's looking pretty good, isn't it? But what we can do next is we can um, maybe put a spine on this. Let's just reduce this back down to 30%. Shapes. Let's put a basic shape on there. It'll just plonk another black and it'll put it in the center. Let's kind of make it about there. 
and let's make that about there. Now you want this to be equal sides, like both sides. Also, perhaps you'd need to change the color of it. So let's just sort of make that about, let's kind of make it a kind of, still a dark color, but it's not completely black, but we can see that it is the spine of the actual notebook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom back out again. Just make sure that I bring this to the top and bring this to the bottom. And let's just take a look at what that looks like now. Okay, so that's looking um, pretty good, isn't it? Now what we would need to do is we would need to uh, perhaps put another um, shape on the back here, just so that it kind of marries up a little bit better. Get a basic shape. That would then get plonked on there. It would then cover the whole notebook and then all you would do is you would just move this particular element um, forwards okay and the way that you would do that is just by right clicking and move forwards there we go so if i just zoom out we can see there that we have got our kind of basic book cover i just want to just quickly show you the um, AI function, okay, to this, uh, to Kittle, because it's fantastic. Now, let's just say, for instance, that you were making um, a fantasy book, okay? So you would go to this image generator and you would describe your image, right? Okay, so let's just say that we were doing that fantasy book, like I said. So I'm going to say dragon, um, fantasy dragon sat, or perched, perched upon a mountain. Now let's just see how that is going to look, okay? So it takes a second for it to generate the image. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! That is just incredible, isn't it? Okay, so we could just kind of pull this down and, you know, you could essentially make that your cover. That could be your book cover, couldn't it? There. You know what I mean? Or you could kind of pull it to there or whatever you want it to do. Like you could have your book cover there. So you could kind of have any kind of typeface on the front here. Like let's just stick this in, see what this looks like. Like that could be your book cover, you know, or whatever you want it to do. Or it could be there. Oh, 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 look how good that looks. Oh, that's class. Right. So anyway, let me just delete that and delete that. Now, one last thing that I want to do before we actually download this is I want to put a texture on this particular design, which makes it look pretty swanky. So if you go down to this button here and press textures, then you can put all sorts of different textures on your design. Now, what I like is I like to look at these, which is the kind of fabric textures. So let's just give this a whirl and see what it looks like. And let's bring the opacity up. Whoa, now how cool does that look? And we can now download that. So if you just go to download and we want to download a PDF and just simply press download. And there it is. There is our cover for our ADHD notebook. Now that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Which I'm very, very happy with. So that shows you how easy it is to create a book cover for your Amazon KDP book using Kittle. There's all sorts of things that Kittle can be used for. So in my view, it is the best all-in-one solution for us as self-publishers who are publishing on Amazon KDP. And what is great news is Kittle is very reasonably priced. There is a free option which you can play around with, but the pro and expert version is fantastic value for money. The expert package is what I have been using today. I am going to put a link to Kittle in the description below. And what is even better is I have a 25% off code for your first month or your first year, offering you even more value on Kittle. So what are you waiting for? 
Go and have a look at Kittle and make your designing for your Amazon KDP business easier than ever. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave it a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And until next time, bye.